When I decided to change my lifestyle, I didn't fully think through what I'd need to do this. Now what I'm talking about is my wardrobe. Now I hope it's not just me, but I reckon about 80% of my wardrobe I can't get into. Everything is too small. I refuse to buy more clothes because I'm not spending money when I'm going to try and lose weight. I don't want to spend money on clothes that will fit now. So I've ended up where I'm <laughs> I'm wearing I'm wearing probably two, three, four outfits maximum. Um, and I'm just washing them regularly and I'm wearing what fits or just fits, should I say. I used to live in jeans all the time. I was living in my jeans. Um, I found them comfortable, great. What I didn't bank on was that when I started going out on daily walks, I'm getting muddy, my jeans just aren't comfortable. Um, and the reality hit that I needed some gym slash walking clothes. So I haven't got a budget to do this. This is not what I want to be doing at the moment. I really don't want to be spending money on new clothes. And the price of sportswear is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. So I look through the drawer that I've already got, which I'm sure many of you have as well. There's a drawer in your bedroom, which is full of all your workout clothes that if you're anything like me, you never wear. So I did actually find two pairs of Fabletics, which I didn't know that I had, so God knows where I've got them from. I've got the black pair on now, and I've got a lovely a blue pair, which, oh look, surprise, surprise, still got the tag on. I've never worn them. So I've started wearing the black pair first, and they are so comfortable. Honestly, so comfortable. The only downside, and I'm gonna be completely honest, is that they're cropped, which means that I've got to make sure that my legs are shaved. You know, coming out of winter, I don't know about any of you, but when I'm wearing long trousers all the time, I try and give my skin a bit of a rest on my legs. We are now coming into spring, so we need to do that anyway. But um, yeah. Now I've got to start shaving my legs again because I'm wearing crop trousers. But honestly, they're so comfortable. And then I found two more pairs as well. So I've got one full length pair, which I think I bought for work at some point um, when I was doing a when I was doing a fitness test of sorts. Um, so I've got those and they're full length. And then I've got these, which are really cheap from Decathlon, but they do the job. So I've got four pairs of leggings at the moment but what I really struggled with was tops um to be honest the last time that I had to go to the gym or do anything that was working out wise I borrowed one of James's t-shirts because that was the only thing that would fit me and be relatively comfortable this is what I used to work out in and it's a pink Aerosmith t-shirt I don't know if you can see that but there is absolutely no chance. There is absolutely no chance that I'm getting that on. But I can't throw it away because it's my Aerosmith t-shirt. So I had this dilemma. <laughs> I'd got just about enough leggings, but I have no t-shirts, no jumpers, nothing suitable. Or I have, but it doesn't fit. So I had a look online. Now, looking at all the main sportswear shops or outdoor shops, I just couldn't afford to buy what I needed. I mean, uh, the branded stuff, you're talking £30 for a t-shirt. I don't know about you, but I don't have that sort of money to spend on a t-shirt. So I thought, okay, where else can I look? So I had a look at Very, because I have got a Very account. And I, and I have ended up with two big bags to try on. I don't know whether I'm gonna keep it all, but in here I've got t-shirts that cost me a fiver a piece. I've got jumpers that cost me 10, 15 pounds a piece, can't exactly remember. Quite a lot in there, and I just wanted to put it in the video that Let's try the cheaper stuff on, because I've got 
because I've got a little bit of a feeling that the cheaper stuff will do exactly the same job that the branded stuff does. But let's have a look. Right, let's have a look. I have got one, two, three, four, five jumpers. I did buy one pair of Veri's gym leggings. Um, they were the cheapest ones on there and I think they were £20, so not, not cheap cheap. And then I got these. So I think I got one, two, three, oh, four, four t-shirts and I did end up getting a vest top as well. So let's have a try on. Let's see if I can get away with spending as little as possible so I can shift this weight and then I can wear my and then I can wear my nice clothes again. Yay! I'm trying to work out which is the best way to actually show you these because I've not done this before. But this is the first t-shirt. Um I don't think that's bad. This costs six pounds. It is a very, very basic t-shirt but i don't need it to be anything else i'm going to go to the gym in it and i'm going to walk the dog in it so for me i mean it, don't get me wrong i understand that expensive clothes feel amazing on I, I i love buying really expensive pieces that i know will last me forever but that's not appropriate for what I'm doing at the moment. And I don't have that kind of money to spend either. So yes, the cut's a bit off and it it's, it's, <laughs> it is what it is. It's a six pound t-shirt, but it will do the job that I need it to at the moment. So yeah, I'm quite happy with that. Okay, so this is the gray version. It's exactly the same, but gray. You can see the cut a little bit more um, with this one. But again, it's a basic grey t-shirt and it costs six pounds and it'll do the job at the gym. And again, here's a khaki green version, six pounds for a t-shirt to go to the gym and walk the dogs. It's comfortable. And I think this is actually my favourite colour of them as well. This one's slightly different in that it's got a v-neck um, and I think it's a straight cut all the way around as well. But again it's gonna do the job this is actually i i normally prefer a v-neck to a round cut but i'm not keen on this it's it's really not a nice cut at all but i'm gonna keep it because it's gonna be a gym top or a walk in the dog top so it'll do what it's supposed to if any of you are wondering all of these tops i've bought in a size 18 I have no idea what size I am at the moment. I wanted to be, I wanted to make sure that I was comfortable in them. So I've gone for an 18 and I think I was right to do so. They're baggy, but that's how I want them. So I've got a bit of space and I can move. We're not going on the catwalk. We don't have to look amazing. We just have to be comfortable so that we can look amazing in the future. Okay, this is the first one I've put on. And I've gone, oh my God, no, I'm not. I will not be seen in public in this. I, if I'm layering something up, then possibly, but no. There's something about a vest top to me where unless it's going under something, you need to have a good body and, and not all of these lumps and bumps. I've, I've, I'm trying really hard not to suck my stomach in, but... Um, yeah, so if I don't suck my tummy in, the, this, and it's see-through as well. I mean, look at it. Um, this is, I, I just, I mean, I know I've got quite wide shoulders, but I, no, I'm not keen on it at all. Well, th this just reminds me of why I'm doing this in the first place. I'm actually really excited about this. I've put it on and it is so comfortable. I don't know if you can see, they call it a cross neck hoodie. So it kind of 
does that. Um, I can put the hood up and the hood is a decent size. Keep the, uh, the wind and the rain off me. Again, this is a size 18 and there is plenty of room to be wearing t-shirts underneath so I can layer up. Really like this, uh, this neck. That's really lovely. Um, but it's just a basic hoodie. Um, yeah, covers my bottom. It's long enough at the front. Perfect. And cost 15 pounds. 15 pounds. You, you just can't moan at that. Again, love it. This is the same hoodie, but it's in a bluey grey colour and it's so comfortable but it is it's all fleece lined it is so soft and for 15 pounds I'm amazed 15 pounds absolutely brilliant I and mean, is it just me but going to the gym going out on a dog walk is not about looking amazing and doing your makeup and doing your hair it's about being outside and getting some exercise and enjoying yourself you don't need to spend hundreds of pounds on clothes to do that so the only thing that i'd say you need to actually spend some money on to go into the great outdoors as a beginner i'm not talking about hiking for like 100 miles i'm talking about as a beginner just to get yourself out there is a decent coat so you can still go out when it's raining and some decent walking boots I, I just for me yes spend some money on some boots that are not going to hurt your feet they're going to protect your feet and they're going to keep your feet dry but as for things like this that you just layer up 15 pound cannot beat it cannot beat it and always go a size up because if you were to try and get into a smaller size you will end up looking twice as big as you actually are whereas if you go for something that's going to be baggy you're going to end up looking slimmer that's what i think anyway but tell me what you guys do resize of clothes Ta-da! this is the next one now this is a completely different style I like it, but I don't love it as much as I love the other two. Um, the colour's okay. I wanted something that wasn't grey or blue or black. I thought I need some sort of colour in my life, so I went for this. It's okay. I think this cut does make me look big. I'm not going to lie. Um, or bigger than I want to. I mean, look, it does kind of balloon on me and just make me look like I'm wearing a sack but on a dog walk to keep me warm not a fashion parade it's okay I've got some room and I tell you what attracted me to it was the length it was nice and long um, it goes down over my bottom down at the front it's great it's just got no shape to it so gives me no shape at all okay this is the black version see that can you sorry so this is the black version um this is more flattering than the than the other one is um but that's because it's black and black's always more flattering isn't it but yeah these two are definitely a dog walking chuck on they will do a job um and they were cheap this might look quite nice with the blue leggings this is the vinyl top now this one I splurged on. This one was £20 and it's because it was a Michelle Keegan top. Now I've put the blue the blue trousers on so that you can see the cut and the style a little bit more. I think this was actually in a sale as well and it was supposed to be more than £20. Um, but there's no prices on any of the delivery notes. This is the thinnest. This is the thinnest of the uh, tops. It's like a, I don't know, if, I don't know if this is the correct term, but it's like a waffle material. Um, let me see, can you, yeah, you think you can see it there. 
yeah there you go so it doesn't feel bad it's not going to be as warm and snuggly as the others and then it's just got this uh, basic neckline with the pull cords it's uh, I'll put the put the hood up so yeah the hood works um, and that's my 20 pound top I'm more excited about the cross necked um, jumpers that were 15 pound they was it was they looked good they were cheap and they were really warm and snuggly and that's all I'm looking for in a hoodie I love these hoodies, they're amazing. Okay, right, I, I don't know how else to do this so you can actually see these properly. So I'm gonna stand, uh, no, look, I'm even standing on my bed. I <laughs> tried to show you. Can you, if I go back here, I don't know if you can see them from here, they are just, full length black leggings to work out in, to walk in. Um, oh, I'm gonna be brave now. Now, they've got a waistband that's supposedly from here to here. Um, uh, right, this can, it pains me to say this, okay, but, the very leggings feel nothing like the Fabletic ones. The Fabletic ones are so comfortable. They feel like they hold everything together. They're soft. These kind of feel, I don't know how else to put it, a little bit loose. They, they just don't, they, the material is about half as thick as the Fabletics and they just I get the impression that with a bit of wear they'll start to sag around the knee and and just won't be very nice I'm gonna have to go with Fabletics now that annoys me because right you say Fabletics if you go onto their website and you want to buy a pair of leggings you're talking something like 80 pounds like, I'm not paying 80 pounds for leggings no way then they've got the really good deal, which is two pairs for £24. But if you actually go on there and you sign up for this VIP thing, what, what, what they don't make very clear is that they then, you make your order, but then something happens. Whereas if you don't order again the next month or you don't pause your membership, that they take 50 pounds, 49 pounds out of your bank account, put it into theirs and say, yeah, that's okay though. It's kind of your membership thing and then it's there for when you need it. And I'm like, why do I want 50 pounds of my money sat in their bank account instead of my bank account? That is just ridiculous. So that put me off using them full stop. They wouldn't refund the money, I had to spend the money. So I still have 50 pounds sat in Fabletics. Um, but I'm really worried about spending it because I don't want it to happen again. I remember ringing them up and having this big argument with them on the phone about what the hell are you doing taking money out of my account? And oh, it was in the small print, you should have seen it. And I'm like, are you just like, well, you can have the money, but you have to buy something with it. And I do actually need more leggings, more full length leggings. Um, so I might have to brave it and order some for the two for 24, because that is really, really reasonable for um, for Fabletics, because they're such good quality, and see what happens. Um, if I'm brave enough to do it, I'll let you know how I get on. Um, but you, if you guys have got any recommendations as to some really good quality, but not ridiculously priced leggings, that would be amazing, and I'd, I'd appreciate that. So that is my very shopping haul. There's pieces that I've got really excited about. There's pieces that are just, uh, they'll do the job. Um, but yeah, I, I, I think every jumper there, apart from the Michelle Keegan one, 
was £15. The t-shirts were £6 each, five or £6 each. Do you know, I, you can't beat it. For walking the dog clothes, for going to the gym clothes, 